Greetings to you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Truth plus love equals life. My name is Roger Matthew Lund. I'm the bi biblically prophesied man child. And this is in one last ditch effort, an open plea to the Illuminati to stop this insanity. I am not coming from a place of anything other than resolve accepting the reality of the situation. And some of you do know who I am. This is m mostly from Mr. King Charles. But it's all of you. You made your deal with the devil in your Lando Calrissian, okay, in Star Wars. You think you're getting all of Cloud City, but the deal gets worse by the second. You've tortured me, you've tortured my mother and father to death with pharmaceuticals. You called me crazy, you called me a criminal after I lived the second of this life of all time. I've been telling you the seal of God, the greatest discoveries in human history since 2003. It's now 20 years later. You express my YouTube videos, you're going to slander me, provoke me, wrath, whatever it is. I, I am not pretending that I can't be beat. I know I've already lost at the cross. But the shed blood of the Lord Jesus Christ at Calvary is the only cure, cure for the human condition. And the Trinity is, quite simply, truth plus love equals life. The Bible says we're going through a great tribulation. Some of you are never, some of you are so insane, so evil, you really want to see the devil shine. Knowing you're going to go to hell for a thousand years and I don't want that to happen. You're going to walk on hot lava for a thousand years and I don't want to change that up your ass. I don't want anybody to go to that hell. I don't want that for anybody. I'm not threatening anybody. I do not want violence. I do not want to see dead bodies in the street. The Bible says we're going to beat our swords into plowshares. I cannot control the behavior of others, the perception of others. But I'm responsible for that which I simply put out there. Because I have to answer to Jesus. That's what my videos are all about. It's not about presentation. It's about I'm just being real. Because this is what God told me to do. I am his no one special. No one special is the ego list hate. He has his hands over his face. He can see no evil because he already knows. He's all evil without Jesus, and he has to die to self. I see what you're doing, and you know exactly what I'm talking about. It's all hidden in plain sight when I shoot from the hips, okay? God always raises a witness, and it's certainly not always me. You cannot beat him. If you did seduce me, terrorize me, blackmail, abuse, threaten, coerce, threaten loved ones, whatever, whatever you did to me, to where I decide I was going to join you, if everybody joined you other than Jesus, you're still lost. Nothing doesn't exist. You can't get everything from nothing. There's no such thing as nothing. He that is greater than everything echoed himself. Reality is God's imagination. That's the tri-universe. The system you have created is one where your mate, I'll just come out and say, your matrix credits, no matter what anybody else says, there's only so many cosmic critters. You can't keep everybody from getting them. Even if I never got one right. God is raising up a remnant and he's going to figure out this alphanumeric digital code thing. Because J-E-S-U-S -S is the all-time greatest badass there ever was. You people lost. I'm Bobby Fisher in the Searching for Bobby Fisher movie. It's eight moves ahead. Actually... It's 88. No, 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 Mr. Ripple. I mean, it's 888 moves ahead. That's the gematria for Jesus. But I see it. 
and you lost, no matter what. You lost. Lucifer, Adam, Caveman, how art thou fallen? The name of Jesus, truth plus love equals life. Planet has a name, it's called Lundion. That's how much God decided to honor me. You can tell in my voice, I have no desire to do any of this, but I said, here, here my God send me, and he shoved a big giant hot coal in my mouth and said, the whole thing's wrong, Ninny. And he was right. No matter how much you may have gone over to the wicked ones, the reptilians, the bloodlines, whoever, you are still humans. And you do have the capacity to empathize. And there are a whole lot of really bad people in the world that are ruining everything like varmints. There's no way around that. That would not be truthful either. Having said that, You know, the movie War Games is, is absolutely true. You cannot win global thermonuclear war. And biological weapons cannot be controlled and will eventually kill all of us, just like the War of the World story. They take down the robots, the machines. I implore you To connect with the little kids you were when you didn't realize, like me, just how wicked this world was and apparently you decided you were just going to be better at that type of dominance, of that type of ruthlessness. Well, find your Ruth again. It's the truth. We all sin and come short of the glory of God. Nobody is going to ascend by works. You can echo Jesus, lowercase g God, manifest sons of God, top down. Man is never going to resolve himself to the point where he doesn't need Jesus to save us. That is the whole point of being born in the flesh. So nobody can righteously accuse God of not granting us free will. Now when we love him, we have a choice. You cannot keep everybody from finding out what you're doing. They have this thing called the internet no more. How much you mind control most, you cannot Suppress the truth, for it is the one thing upon which everything must depend in order to exist. This is philosophy. I appeal to your sense of scholarship and higher consciousness. The God of the Bible is omniscient, omnipotent, omnipresent. Look at the master list document I put up here. I believe it's equals MC fourth. I can't even afford a computer right now to go in and get to it and change this stuff. That's how much the body of Christ has abandoned me. Nonetheless, that's my situation. I give everything I can. None of you, none of you world leaders are really going to enjoy watching people burn alive and big blasts go off. And it's there is still something in you that says that simply cannot be. Stop this insanity. Individualism will require people who do nothing to get nothing and starve. The media will not scapegoat leaders who do that, which is logical, which is simply, we will no longer oppress humanity, nor are you there to empower anybody. Micromanage them or even be their life coach. You're simply a referee based on logic and ethics, and everybody's not going to have a great life because everybody shouldn't because everybody doesn't make good decisions. And sometimes bad things just happen to relatively good people. No interest on the currency. And then ending government subsidies that, yes, I went on only because the body of Christ didn't fail to put me on the money in 2003 when I got the greatest discovery of all time. Truth plus love equals life. If you have sound money where there's no interest on the currency, and there's no Keynesian economics and it's a fixed money supply, you don't have to grow an economy because there's no cancer you don't need great new fiscal space if you don't have a cancer of debt. The whole thing has to be set straight because the devil doesn't have clear title to the souls in hell. So it's in Satan's interest to set... The, the game hasn't even started yet. See my other videos. The game hasn't started yet for 6,000 years. There's no points on the celestial scoreboard. It's like a do-over and a race, a false start. 
There's your new, new meme. You're all one false start. It's not a square deal when you sell your soul to God or the devil. Unless you own yourself man to man. Therefore, everything has to be sovereign politically, separating church and state. Those are the rules of the game. And we all know it's a rules-based system. The RBS, the Royal Bank of Scotland, has to know that. This is the game. What you people did is criminal, inexcusable, deplorable. But at this point, it is not unforgivable. And it's not because you don't deserve all the evil things that's coming your way, but it's because I, I want good things from men and you're still in a position of power whereby your behavior affects everybody else. That is as diplomatic as I can be given the situation of what you've done to my country and as my planet and the cosmos that I represent sent from Jesus. Forgive me, Jesus, my everything's wrong. The God of the Bible is not going to give you an opportunity to do this forever. I don't, I'm not threatening you. I'm telling you God's going to tear you down. And you can't take back judgment for God. This is my dominion in the name of Jesus. Truth plus love equals life. I have no desire to rule anybody. I don't even want to be around people how much they're programmed. Sometimes I'm programmed and they may not want to be around me. As long as people aren't harming each other, then they can live and let live. And we don't have to be a happy family. That's crazy. You're never going to get all of us to agree on everything. We don't even know each other. We're strangers who simply abide by the same rules. Like spokes on a wheel, our relationship is to the center. The pivot man in the political paradigm is simply reason. In the spiritual paradigm, you go directly to the, the real Jesus who sent me. But not through me. I know that. He's the all-time greatest daddy ever. The one true God of spiritual Israel. Truth plus love equals life. King Charles. Stop this nightmare. Pope Francis, the mother of harlots. Is a liar, is a monster, and you said you served her. The interest on the currency isn't stopped. The babies aren't dying. The babies aren't safe. Nobody's safe. We're all going to end up like reservoir dogs killing each other. Where Mr. Pink kills old lady Peacock, kills Colonel Mustard, kills, you know, Princess Snow White, kills, you know, Black Jack, whatever they're called. It's Mr. Blue. And, and then the dogs look at the little dogs, the creators look at them like, you are all insane. The, the, you're not smarter than a fifth grader. It's the fifth dimension. We all need to be smarter than fifth graders. I should be better at everything. I'm not even very good at putting up these videos. But I told the truth, and I did, I did what I needed to do because somebody has to say it. It is in all of our interests to end these false demographic insertions where you're defined by women, black, gay, Jew, anything other than a big white male. It's sexist, it's racist, it's sizist. And people are not equal. They are held according to the equal standards. They are better or worse by merit. People who do good are even better. And appealing to the stupidity, ignorance, and ego of the masses is literally going to destroy all of us. It's called communism. Communism is the enemy of Satan, not just God and freedom. Those who serve the dark Lord are in big trouble because they're going to have to go to him and, and he can't admit he's a damn fool and the biggest idiot in history. He can't look worse than anybody ever in front of his people. I suggest you have that conversation with him past the focal point of freedom as the one true law of human interaction, the baseball diamond paradigm. There's nothing to do with Cooperstown. They've been ignoring me for 15 years. There's nothing to do with Major League Baseball. Ultimately, it doesn't even have anything to do with me. I simply conform to the logical truth, which is why I am logically prime sovereign of the cosmos. I don't have to run for office. I don't have to tell anybody what to do. I don't have to answer an email. That just happens when you get to discover. Again, the Bible says we're going to be in our swords in the plowshares. I'd like to see that now. And not all the death and destruction, because it also says he's going to make to where a human is a rare event. We get to decide when, how these 
prophecies are filled based on whether or not we love them. It's very simple. Forgive me, Jesus, my everything's wrong. Praise Jesus, truth plus love equals life.